A recently retired justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Mary Odele, has lashed out on the all eyes on the group, uh, judiciary group, and of course, indirectly, the obedience also in a speech she made recently in Abuja that so many people were disappointed with what she had to say. She was uh, speaking at a colloquium celebrating Joe Keare Gazama, who has been a son for 25 years. And during that occasion, Mrs. Mary Odley said that the 2023 general elections generated a storm, particularly from losers who feel cheated by the election's outcome and have since resorted to making incendiary remarks that could plunge the nation into anarchy. She says that there seems to be moves to throw the nation into chaos or conflagration. She didn't even stop at that. She also said that Wole Olani Peku, the lawyer defending President Bola Tinubu at the elections petition tribunal, is a master of electoral disputes whose expertise in the tribunal litigation inspires confidence for victory. Listen again, for victory, and that a resetting of the mind is soon to come for losers who would eventually accept their loss. Wow. This is very deep. Very, very deep. How could she single out defender of one of the people in the contest in the question of uh, in the person of Wole Olani Kweku and say that he's an expertise, he is primed to have victory. He said something, she said something also about um, the new senior uh, um, uh, attorney general of the federation, Fag Bemi. I will tell you the rest of the matter as we go on. Just listen to uh, watch to the end so that we get all aspects of what happened at this colloquium. Very, very interesting. Odile, who is a very good friend to Yeso Mwike, Mwike called her her spirit, uh, judicial advisor, legal advisor. And Yeso Mwike recently doled out 500 million for building of. Um, uh, uh, Mary Odele Institute of uh, Justice or whatever in River State. So the relationship is very close and she is comfortable in Abuja to make this kind of speech. Listen to some of the other things that she said and at the end you will understand what is going to happen soon in the judgment that the presidential election petition tribunal will give because losers will now come to leave with their loss. She said that there seems to be moves to throw the nation into chaos or conflagration, and this may be brought about by some individuals and groups who fan in the embers of hatred, bigotry, and tribalism, fail to see the possible outcome of the utterances without caution that are being thrown around. Mrs. Adley is the ex-wife or, or the wife of the ex-River State Governor Peter Adley. And she has been in the political circle in a way as well as in the judicial also. She went ahead to caution the losers of the 2023 elections that they shouldn't use their grievances and frustrations as justification to bring down the roof of our nation, as they may not be spared by the law, a threat. She said it is human to feel cheated or having the short end of the stick, but one who is not declared the winner at any of the electoral contests, such emotion, however green, does not justify bringing the roof down, the roof of our nation, the reason is simple, that in such an eventuality that a grieved person may not be spared as the commotion would be like an unguided missile which could land anywhere and upon anyone, this former jurist 
said. So in other words, if you are not declared the winner and you know that you won, just go home, nurse your wound, and let Nigeria continue to grow, to go, move on. Injustice at the highest level. She didn't say, go on and make an appeal at the Supreme Court until you get justice. No, she's only interested in go home and live with your loss, the frustration, the anger, the depression, whatever. And these are the people who were in the Supreme Court. She just came out as a justice of the Supreme Court. Now you could understand why things have been happening the way they have been happening with the Supreme Court, where people are declared winners. In, I mean, that could not be explained to the understanding of any human being, no matter how intellectually sound. According to Mrs. Sodele, let's know Mr. Lanik Beku, the lawyer representing Tinubu was there and she was saying this. And the Attorney General of the Federation, Latif Fagbemi, who was representing APC or INEC, they were grounded in electoral disputes, implying that their collaboration was bound to bet victory at the tribunal. She has now announced to you the result that Tunubu will be declared the winner because Solani Beku and Fagbemi are agents of victory. They know the whole thing and they will conjure everything to the advantage of Bola Ahmed Tunubu. This speech was made about four days ago and tomorrow the election tribunal will finally give their judgment. Are you seeing what is going on here? Mr. Olani Kweku, a highly respected senior advocate, was in charge of the team of lawyers, of course, that defended ex-president Muhammad Buhari's victory against Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party in 2019 at the tribunal. Mr. Olani Kweku won the matter for Mr. Buhari. But Mrs. Sadley's statements have, of course, ignited furor across the nation with many citizens alleging the judiciary may no longer be independent and may have coward to pander to the demands of the ruling party. Ask Mrs. Sadley, not me. She forgot that there were other respected sons in the team of Pito B and Atiku Abubakar, who have also won so many election petitions. But she chose the one she wanted to choose. And that is very, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The fact that uh, her speech uh, echo in commune on the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Oluka Yode Ariwola, lavish on the then governor Yesun Mwike last November, hasn't helped to calm public concerns that the judiciary may be seriously compromised since judicial officers are not expected to hobnob with politicians, much less make political commentaries in public. I'm totally disappointed with this one. You see her in any occasion being organized by Nwike, and Nwike celebrates her birthday, celebrates her retirement, celebrates everything, drags in the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ariwola, they mix together, import her court, hold the parties, drink champagne, make speeches, cut tapes to open things. And after... Ari will learn the Chief Justice of Nigeria will go to one angle and start lamenting that politicians should leave the judiciary alone, that they are interfering. But you could quietly turn down whatever invitation they give to you. I mean, if you're expecting something else from the judiciary, I don't know the language this former justice and Almost a spokesperson for APC now we use before you understand what is about to play out. I don't have to say more. Like this video, please share it, subscribe to our channel so that you will be abreast of things that are happening. Thanks for watching and see you in our next update.